It is my great pleasure to join you for the fifth UNESCO Most Winter School. Here in Veszprem, a UNESCO creative city of music, which has also been named a European capital of culture. During this edition of the UNESCO Most Winter School, you will focus on a wide range of issues impacting culture today, from conflicts and emergencies to climate change and digital transformation. UNESCO was founded on the belief that protecting and promoting culture is essential to the achieving of peace and mutual understanding. In the wake of conflicts and emergencies, reviving cultural heritage and cultural life is essential to the rebuilding of communities, to promoting reconciliations, and to creating a sense of hope for the future. For decades, UNESCO has supported the reconstruction and recovery of culture in the wake of conflicts and emergencies, from Bosnia and Herzegovina to Tumbuktu, Iraq, Beirut, Afghanistan, and Ukraine. In the wake of the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, we are working with our partners and national authorities to undertake an initial survey of damages to heritage. Climate change represents another important challenge, as we have seen with the recent floods, floods in Pakistan, where UNESCO has mobilized support for the protection of cultural heritage in the affected regions. UNESCO recently published a major study on World Heritage glaciers, one third of which are set to disappear by 2050 as a result of climate change. The culture sector was among the hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, which also contributed to the rapid digitalization of the sector, which poses real risks to culture diversity. This past September, UNESCO held the UNESCO World Conference on Cultural Policies and Sustainable Development, Mondiacul 2022. The historic conference resulted in a declaration adopted by 150 countries that recognizes culture as a global public good. The declaration also highlighted the power of culture to renew and broaden bilateral and multilateral cooperation, promote multilingualism and a culture of peace, and enable dialogue and solidarity within and between countries, including through cultural diplomacy. UNESCO has worked to strengthen the role of culture as a driver of diplomacy and international cooperation by supporting the integration of culture in the G20 and by organizing the first global meetings of ministers of culture in decades. One of the key ways that UNESCO works to promote international cooperation and dialogue is through the implementation of its cultural conventions and other standing, uh, standard standing instruments, including the 2003 convention for the safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage, which celebrates this year its 20th anniversary. These conventions unite countries around common norms and commitments to protect and promote the diversity of cultural expression, uphold the social and economic rights of artists, safeguarding living heritage, fight the illicit trafficking of cultural property, and protect cultural property in the event of armed conflicts, among others. As current and future leaders in the field of culture, your idea, vision, and voices will be essential to putting these norms into practice and to meeting the challenges facing culture today. I have no doubt that you are up to the task. Thank you and thank you to the organizer of this UNESCO Most Winter School.